All right. Hello there, everybody, and welcome to today's special live stream. So, as some of you probably remember, last week I finished up um, the Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. Well, no, two weeks ago I did, and then I played Animal Crossing, and um, now I'm going to be playing this Outer Wild. Uh, so this is a game that my wife actually got for me. Uh, it's a really neat um, game that is a rogue-ish game. So, um, hey look, it's Rev. Hi Rev. So very briefly, essentially what's happening in this game is you are trapped in a, um, in a cycle. Um, you're, you're trapped in a time cycle and you have to figure out why. You have to figure out what's going on. Um, and the thing is that it has something to do with an invention that you and another scientist made up, um, that you came up with and that you're able to do and all of this kind of thing. So, yeah, it's a pretty interesting little shtick here. Um, and the idea is that we have this, the solar system that we can explore and try to figure out stuff about. Um, and yeah, just essentially the idea is that we're trying to learn as much as we can about the, um, the different things that are going on and more specifically to learn about the uh, um, civilization or a civilization that was once present here. Um, so it's it's a really interesting game. I've I've had a lot of fun with it. Um, effectively, the the main idea with it is to um, uh, the the main idea with it is to go and uh oh the main idea is to. Boom! Crash on the planets. That's the main idea. Um, the, the main idea is to not do any of this, technically, but, you know, we'll roll with it. Oh, I'm fine. Um, so you go and you explore these different things, and you're looking for particular oddities. So the stuff that we're looking for specifically are ruins from this ancient civilization that um, very few people know about. Um, you start off by going into a museum that has a bunch of artifacts related to said, um, said um, um, what's it called, said civilization. And, um, and the thing is that you're on a constant time loop that's kind of like Groundhog Day-ish, for those of you who have seen the movie, um, where effectively the point is that you um, you constantly get reset um, to to the same point in time, which is where you uh, wake up, which is what you guys saw at the very beginning um, there. And so now I'm just trying to explore a bit, see what's going on. I have never been to this one, the uh, the Ember Twin, as it's referred to. And unfortunately, it looks like I have to try and get back to my ship. Because I totally didn't crash land in a crevasse or anything like that. I would never be so silly and stupid. Um, one of the things that's happening is the... Oh! Okay, I'm uh, getting crushed. So I, I got squashed by a bunch of sand. That is unpleasant. Um, so that counted as me going through a cycle. <laughs> 
Um, essentially, if you don't die through some other mechanism, then the um, the way that it works is you um, you have approximately twenty minutes. I think it's twenty two minutes before the uh, before the sun explodes. And that's sort of the event that you are trying to stop, or at least understand a little bit better. So yeah. But look, it's EA. Hi, EA. Welcome, welcome. Um, I am going to try and go back to the Hourglass Twins. But I'm going to... Oh, jeez. I am going to try to do better this time. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. I almost ended up landing on the other twin. Ha! Perfect landing! My headlights are damaged, but that's okay. We can fix that. Alright. So, let's see what we got. Now... I remember I did find some interesting information on the other twin. So these are referred to as the hourglass twins. The reason that they're called that is because sand flows from one into the other. And effectively, let's see if we can actually see it happening here. There we go. So you can see the sand actually flowing. So it flows from that twin into this one. And that's why last time I got crushed. Um, but let me see if I can try to get up to the upper portion here. I don't think I'll be able to. There we go. Okay, no clue what that means. Here we go. So the big shtick of this is that my buddy and I invented this device that can translate the writings of this ancient civilization. Riddle Hollow and Timber Hearth. I'm curious what this interloper thing is. Not to mention this thing that's constantly orbiting the sun. Okay, well there's Brittle Hollow.
I vote that we go towards the shiny blue light. So generally, on most of the locations that you'll find here um, will be other traveler, explorer people, essentially. Of some sort. I'm also allowed to roast marshmallows, which is pretty exciting. Ooh, I got a scroll. I feel like that'll be useful or something. you, homie. Hey, uh. Huh. I remember there was mention of the North Pole in... some of the ruins that I found. We can go and see that. Um, so essentially this, uh, I, I already mentioned this game is a roguelike game. So you keep, um, you keep going through and learning more and redoing and all that kind of stuff. Um, but in this particular case, right now at least, what I am working towards is... Oh, no. Wrong twin. No, I don't. No, stop it. I don't want to land on that one. No, 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 no. I want to land on this one. A little bit rough, but not too bad. Okay, so at the North Pole of this particular Hourglass Twin, there was supposedly something of import. Whoa, trippy. Oh. Oh, Nelly. Is it just me or does it seem like these should close up somehow? Oh, what's that?
So my problem right now is that I don't know for certain if I'm at the North or the South Pole. I'm guessing that this is the North Pole. Dang it! Missed it. Basically the same thing. But what do I need to do here? Coming off of the equator on this one, and it's like the sand is coming off of the equator, and it seems to be revealing things. Ooh. Oh, this is trippy. Aha! That looks like a scroll hole. Quantum moon locator, okay. Something about this phantom moon. This is intriguing. Another scroll I can use. If there's another scroll here, that makes me think that... I could have used the scroll somewhere else as well. Oh, bugger. Oh no, I don't want to go to the other one. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Hmm. Running out of O2. Sun station. So it's really interesting. I, I like the um, I like that um, the the writing that they have. It's uh, it's really reminiscent of um, Gallifreyan from um, what's it called from uh, Doctor Who. So I find that to be pretty awesome. an awful lot of dead dudes here.
My ship got blown around by the storm. <laughs> by the storm. <laughs> Woo! Made it! All right. So this is interesting. We have learned some fascinating new stuff. Wait, what? Yeah, we yeah, I have to figure out why the sun is exploding. I don't like the look of that interloper. So the sun station is gone now. Let's head over here to Well, Tim Timber Hearth is where I started from. So that's a little easy. Let's see if we can let's see if we can manage to get to Brittle Hollow. Ah, that must be the the one that it's there but it's not. It's the the Heisenberg's uncertainty satellite. It only exists as long as you're not looking at it. I'm kind of lost here. I worry that this is going to be one of those things that Interesting, it didn't give me the, the option to land, like to engage the landing gear on that one. Oh, you're fine. Quantum fluctuations. I know you're here, you stupid moon. I'm gonna find you. Uh oh. Was that the sun exploding? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. The sun exploded. I 
either that or it's Hollow's Lantern. No, oh, no, my ship! Oh, boy. So, this might be slightly problematic. What, with the sun about to go supernova? Um, yeah, and also my ship is, like, 30 kilometers away. Hey, look, a giant hole. Nothing bad can come from that, right? Oh, what the fudge? Uh I I was joking. <laughs> I didn't mean for something to actually happen from the mysterious hole in the middle of the thing. <laughs> What just happened? I'm getting back in my shit. Okay, W F W T fudge. So see, this is kind of neat because you you've got the uh, whatever information you can find on um, the specific entities that you've been able to uh, get in touch with. So like, see, I know that the quantum moon exists, right? And so I can try and start to connect the dots of what's going on, where, how, and all that kind of thing. Um, but that said, this is very strange because the, what, dark ramble? I have no idea what's going on here. Oh wait, nope, there goes the sun. Sure it looks pretty. That's it consumes the entirety of existence. Is <laughs> science too hard? Yeah, that, that was trippy. That, that was a good run, though. I, I found out some really cool stuff. But so, see, this is what I mean. It's like combination adventure game slash... Um, what's it called? I adventure slash um, roguelike thing going on. What is that thing? Is that the gas giant? I tried to land on it before, but I couldn't. I also never use my scout launcher. I really need to use my scout launcher more. Also, I need to not fall off the platform. <laughs> Uh, 
Is it because I failed, Rev? Is that why I have to do squads? <laughs> if so, I disagree. Could have happened to anybody. Yeah, it's giant steel. So Giant's Deep is weird. If oh shit, now I gotta catch back up. Yeah, Giant's Deep is kind of a goofy planet. More squats. Ah! Wait, no! Ah! Oh, what the fudge! No! <laughs> I got thrown out into space! <laughs> Help! Ow! Oh, well, God! I'm back! I'll lit oh, God, I'm in the ocean! Ah! Oh no. I can't get back to my ship. Let me in. <laughs> oh. It's these stupid storms. They ruin everything. Let's see if we can actually find some information here now before I get hit by one of those tornadoes again. Statue workshop. There's a bunch of Crichtons! Maybe. Oh, please, giant storms, don't take my ship. Oh, they got these things! These things are cool. They let you, um, they, they change the way that gravity works. So that you can walk up along walls and stuff. It's a little trippy, but it's pretty cool. Hey, look, a bunch of bones. That doesn't bode well. Okay, so they were testing some kind of statue. So is this a warning about the tornadoes? Is this an activation button for the tornadoes? 
because either way, I want nothing to do with it. So one thing that you may notice is in the um, in the bottom left corner there, it says gravity um, and whatever it is. Um, so in this case, it's about two times gravity relative to my my home thing, essentially. My uh, my home planet. So that's why, like here, I can barely jump. What the fudge? Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Let's go down in the ocean in this giant planet of death and doom. That sounds like a wonderful plan. I feel like this is... A whole like walk the path shtick thing. Now the question is do these ever line up perfectly? And if they do, what does it mean? Very intriguing. Um I, I've lost the... It seems I've lost the quantum fluctuations. I'm able to get by. That must be what the, the thing is that I found. It must shut the storms off or something. That just flings me straight back out into space. Okay, so. No, I don't really want to go back there. I'm good. Oh god, gravity's a biatch.
Okay, well, that was Reb's fault that I got incinerated. I need to find a flute. <laughs> Show me Picard's flute! But yeah, so you can see why I really like this game. It's it's just it is so fascinating. All of the stuff that you can find and see and do. It's really, really cool. I really enjoy it. So this is the thing is that I never actually use the scout. I really need to do that a lot more frequently. Um, okay. So... I am going to do something really dumb. And I am going to try to get to that sun station. have a spinner bigger big enough no i don't unfortunately No, I don't want to velocity match the sun itself. It's going to be really, really hard if I can manage it, which I doubt. The thing is moving so fast. Oh no. Oh no, here we go. Oh, we're gonna die. Yeah, we're dead. Boo! I wanna know what's on that station! That is true. There is, there has been a distinct lack of death counts. That is a very good point. Hang on. So there's one. There's. There's another one. There's another one. Ah, uh, there's another one. I, 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 I don't know. It's it, It's been quite a few. Um, there's another one. There's a Wilhelm scream. Just because I flew into the sun a couple of times. Alright, let's see what we can do. Here. So I went to Brittle Hollow. I have not gone... Oh, that's what it is. Brittle Hollow and the Dark Bramble are connected through that thing. Through that weird... What's it called? Oh, I crashed. So if I'm going to try to land on the interloper, gotta... it's going to be interesting. What's the interlopers? 
Okay, so if I keep going this way, I should basically run right into it. In a good way. Well, so much for that idea. Wasn't there like a big green thing somewhere around here? Not the sun. Wait, how did I end up all the way out here? What the fudge? Also, what's that? up quantum fluctuations off of it. Seriously, what is this thing? Weird. Wait a minute. Interloper again. Biz. The problem is, I'm never going to be able to catch it. It's way too fast.
Right, interloper. Tell me your secrets. Ooh, trippy. Oh. There's a gravity cannon on the Ember Twin? What? There's that weird pulsar thing again. What are you? Oh, that's kind of cool. Some good shots of the interloper. I totally caught up on squats. I did for realsies. I am very well caught up. I will have you know. I am just very excited. Because apparently this comet freezes shuttles. And also, was it Ember that has a freaking gravity cannon? Ember? You... Mm. I need to go talk to the Ash Twin. Ah, thanks for cheering. I appreciate it. I don't know. I really like this game. A lot of fun. What is that? Okay. That was the that that was the cookie moon. Ah, oh, son of a biscuit. You guys, I missed out on cookie moon. Man, I wanted to see cookie moon. So this is interesting because the Ash Twin now has been... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No! No! I got eaten by the sun. I 
I found the quantum moon though. So the hourglass twins somehow make some kind of a giant cannon together. I did. It, it was very deadliest of me. Flying really close to the sun. Oh, here, watch this. See, look. If you're lucky I'm in a time loop. Yeah, see, nobody believes me. And that's the weird thing, is that I'm the only one who's aware of it in this game. I'm the only person who is aware of the fact that the time loop is going on. Nobody else knows. And part of the reason for that is because I, um, uh, when I first got all of the information to get to, um, what's it called? To get into space, I, um... I, um, uh, when I first got all the information to get into space, then there was a, there was a really weird thing that happened where I, um, I ended up seeing a statue of one of the types of creatures that used to live here. And, um, in doing so, in looking at one of those creatures, then basically it kind of, like, revealed itself to me, so to speak. And so I was able to, um, oops. Somebody broke the shit. Hey, it's the matter! Hey, matter! Great to see you as always. Welcome, welcome. New game, fun times. Somebody broke all my stuff, so I gotta repair it. Um, okay. So, I'm going to head to the North Pole here. So this is interesting because what ends up happening is the Ash Twin, this one that I'm on, is covered in sand right now. But eventually it won't be. All of the sand gets transferred over to the other twin. And then goofy stuff happens. Because essentially the sand literally goes away off of this um, satellite off of this mini planet. And as that happens, then it starts to reveal different things. So we can see one of these reflecting mirror type things that we saw on the other twin. Wait, is that my ship? No, that's not my ship. Wait, whose ship is that? So it seems that they have the same sort of general structure, but it's interesting because right now I can't access the base of this one because the sand is currently flowing. Once the sand is done flowing, though, then I'll be able to, to access it. So see, this, this other twin, it has another one of those weird little spiralish things, too. See, there's the... I, 
I, I really want to land on the the solar research thing. I don't know if I'll ever be able to. I want to try to get as close as I can to that bluish thing that's on the other twin. In an escape pod. Interesting. Well, this is a crashed ship. Okay, so there's another escape pod somewhere else. So yeah, see, here comes the sand from the other twin. Okay, escape hatch. Well, these rocks are interesting. They can wait until a less urgent time. The horror? There's some kind of horror? Yeah, I don't want to deal with horror. Okay, so that's good to know. Wait, what, 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 what's going on? We got a spook? Wait, what? Ghost gifter person? What? What's happening? Ah! I, I, I can't, I can't keep watching the chat. I have to pay attention to all the stuff I've tried to do. You need sandfall, then turn left. Okay. Okay. 
Walk forward until you reach the sand fall, then turn left. And then rock column formations. And then we go up. Okay. Dang it! Come on! Give me a break here! Okay, wait. What else did that say? A little farther left. But the sand is coming. This does not look like a proper place. Ah! This must be it. Oh! What? Holy trippin' balls. So they tried to harness the sun's power. So the sun station was built to... Ghost matter. Yes. Oh. No. Stupid ghost matter. Wait, the chat's haunted now? I am so confused. Okay, I have to go back there. Like, seriously. Ah, oh, I can't. It's time to go. Dang it. This game is fun.
I really like this game. Like I said, it's a it's a really neat little thing. Um, I actually never explored my my own little planet here. So this is the the little planet that we've got. There's like a little model ship that you can fly around. Whee! I'm not very good at it. Whee! I'm flying it upside down. Toad's awesome at it. Oh boy. Oh jeez. That was Rev's fault. Oh jeez. Bye, little dude. We hardly knew ye. Um, but yeah, there's um, there's a bunch of little stuff that you can do here. Like for example, you get this scope um, on the planet so that you can look for the different fluctuations and whatnots. I'm gonna go down here, see what's what. Oh. I drowned it, 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 it. You know, if I had a spacesuit, I probably could have done that. I, I, I owe two deaths. But yeah, it's a really cool little game. Um, so that said, I have to get going. Um, I, I need to go and do stuff like eat and whatnot. Um, so yeah, if you, if you guys are ever curious, it's, um, Outer Wilds. Um, like I said, it's a, it's a mix of roguelike and adventure and mystery and all sorts of different stuff. Um, really, really cool little thing. Really neat, uh, really neat game. Um, so you all take care of yourselves. Have a good week. Have safe weeks. Be well. Um, and I will see you all on Saturday. I will be back with Paper Mario again, so hopefully it'll go well. Uh, we'll see um, now. Now that I know how to hopefully beat the giant scissors, so woo down with the scissors. And um, next week, next Monday, not sure what to do. Um, I might keep playing this, but I really want to do Majora's Mask because I finished Ocarina of Time. So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'll probably talk about it on Discord with all of you. But you guys take care, have fun, and I will see you all on Saturday.